genetically engineered salmon. It's what's for dinner in Canada. Today, in Mikey's lab. If this is your first time joining us, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below to make sure that you stay up to date on all of the DIY, engineering, technology, science, making, and now Mini Myth Monday content that we produce every single week. Today we're looking at a study that came out August 4th of this year, 2017, that 10,000 pounds of a genetically engineered salmon has been sold to a Canadian company. Now while they're very tight-lipped about who that Canadian company is, it's very clear that genetically engineered salmon is what's for dinner. So let's dive in a little bit, let's look at the company, let's talk about what happened. I know this is going to be a polarizing issue between a lot of people out there, so by all means hit the comments down below, tell me what you think. Aqua Bounty Technologies, which is the company that has produced this genetically engineered salmon that has been made available for sale in Canada prior to it being available for sale in the US, says that this particular harvest comes from a farm in Panama. However, they are looking at ramping up operations in PEI and eventually Indiana as well. Uh, the company has taken genes from three different fish, all of a, a similar family. Uh, the essential modification that has been done to this fish is to cause it to produce a constant flow, a constant low level flow, of growth hormone. This causes the fish to reach market size in 18 months instead of 36 months. This is a remarkable feat. Uh, it will reduce the price of salmon eventually, although this batch has been told, I've been told has been sold at market value which is $5.30 US per pound. Again, the company is not discussing who bought it and Canadian regulations surrounding this particular invention in this particular product does not require the product to be marked as genetically engineered or modified. The US FDA approved this particular product in November of 2015, however there still have been legal hurdles in getting it to your actual table. Canada approved the product six months later and has had significantly less trouble getting it to market. Now I understand that there's going to be some people who are screaming that this isn't right, that this can't be allowed, that things can go wrong. Of course there are arguments on both sides of the fence. Right? There are others who are going to say this is the beginning of a new era and with technologies like CRISPR it's really hard to put the genie back in the bottle. There are many people on the one side of this argument who will turn around and they'll protest this type of a development, they'll call it Frankenfood. To them, to be honest, I only have one simple statement. It is really easy to protest when you're not the one who's starving. And I do see this as a viable technology to allow us to feed a booming population that is already at approximately 7.5 billion people and shows no sign of slowing down. In the statement that was given by their CEO, and I'm going to read this because I don't want to misquote him, Stardish says, I think the larger market is viewing it as a more predictable and sustainable source of salmon. As the first sale, this is very positive and encouraging for us, and I can't agree more. This technology was never going to not exist. Uh, the technology to go inside and make something just that much better has, is always going to be a dream and it's always going to be there. So as I said, the genie is out of the bottle, the sale has already happened. The salmon will not be marked as genetically modified and it will be sold in Canada. There's no two ways about that. What I want you to do is I want you to tell me what you think about this in the, in the comments down below. These aren't huge modifications to the fish. The fish are still actually able to breed, right? which is a big thing like when you see crossbreeding in the wild, it usually produces a species that can't breed. These can. If one was to escape into a wild, which is probably going to be one of the biggest objections that people will have to this technology, the very worst that will happen is you'll have a couple generations of really big salmon 
and then the genetic diversity side of things will start to phase out the new genes that were inserted. So I know this is controversial. I know this is polarizing. And I want to hear what your opinion is. So by all means, leave it in the comments down below. Be kind to one another though. Let's have an actual debate. Let's not get insulting. Let's just have a debate and talk about what is going on down there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, tell me why in the comments down below. Don't forget to share and like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for joining me in the lab and I will see you next time.